Dr. Friels again for another ingrown toenail. I feel like I say this all day long. Um, this young lady here is a marathon runner, nothing recent, but she's been struggling with an ingrown toenail. We have a lot of runners in this situation, so you're definitely not alone. Um, anyway, it doesn't look bad. She was asking me, is this a bad ingrown toenail? Um, like I was telling her, it's not swollen really bad. It's not draining. It's not um, smelly and like, you know, obviously infected. But the thing is, is the nail is still in there. I mean, you can feel it. We can't necessarily um, see it. So if you tell me it hurts, we know it's ingrown because it's amazing what can be underneath this because I can feel it. You feel that edge? I can feel it. Um, and so anyway, it's amazing what can be under there without you really being able to see it on the outside. Yeah. Okay. It's red and puffy, I guess. But. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. definitely, it's more red. I'm sure after you've been up on it too. Um, I'm going to put this off to the side if you okay. don't mind. Is that okay there? Yeah. Right. You're perfect. However, you're comfortable. Any allergies to numbing medications, lidocaine, marcaine. All right. So just get you cleaned up. Here's the fun part. I just say, go to your happy place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is, after this, you're okay. There we go. Any plans for the weekend? Yes. What are you doing? I'm going to Chicago. Please tell me you're not going to be walking around a lot. Um, oh, well, what? Open, I'll have, like, um, no clothes to have shoes on, though. Good. Okay. <laughs> and also be careful for infection. If you're walking around I with know. your flip-flops and your cute shoes, um, okay. just... Yeah, and make sure you take care of it. We'll go over your the instructions again on soaking and um, the little wound powder that you're going to spring it, uh, okay. sprinkle in there on a daily basis, okay? And we all have all that written out with visuals. And Okay, one more. All right. So I'm running my first 10K next oh, February. You? Yeah, and you're saying how you're, you know, I couldn't imagine doing a marathon. Um... It was awful. Oh, God. Okay, can I do a 10K? Is it, it going to be awful? I was awful? like hard to concentrate because I was already... Oh, um, you, you're fine. Yes, you'll be fine. It's all just like if you train correctly for okay. it. Well, I guess so, I should start training. Yeah. <laughs> all right, everybody. We're getting numbed up. So we'll be back in just a couple of seconds to get the procedure started. Stay tuned. Get this started. She's nice and numb. No issues. Okay. <laughs> uh, either it probably won't bother me to watch or not. Oh no, no, no. you don't. You nurse, don't need to watch it. Sometimes I'm like, you don't want to watch it. I mean, it's yourself. You know? Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't want to watch this it. This is like not gross compared to. I mean, even when I donate blood, I don't. I don't even look. I don't look. Yeah, either at blood draw. It's like, what's the point? So, in there. Very simple. Just gonna. But you don't think? I mean, I need to be like really conscious about how I cut it and stuff. Um, like, so yes. does it come back, you know? There it is. Look how much was underneath it your, was, um... I thought it was a lot. Yeah. I really did. So that's the crazy thing. It doesn't necessarily look really bad, mm -hmm. but it's just under the, um, skin. under the skin. Absolutely. How long was that, Caitlin? Uh, 53 seconds. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ingrown toenail out in under 53 <laughs> seconds, and that includes talking. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and put the chemical on. To prevent the regrowth, again, 5% chance. Mainly, I see it come back whenever you're picking at it, you're digging at it, or pedicurists. Okay. They're really in there using those instruments to uh, to try to get something out, or even dead skin, or they trim it back too short. So, talking about trimming. My golden rule is to um, give or let about one millimeter of the white stuff on the tip of the nail and follow the normal curvature of the nail. So if you go, if your nail bed is straight across, go straight across. Otherwise mine kind of just curves at the very edges just a little bit, but about one millimeter you'll be safe. Okay. Pedicures love to really dig in there and they're like, you know, some of them are just kind of like OCD in the way they're like, oh, I want to get that little piece of skin. And when they, especially back in the cuticle area, if they're pushing that back, that is not good. Okay. They're breaking the sterile barrier to the um, root of the nail. And so that's how a lot of people can get issues with um, infections, fungal infections and bacterial uh, from breaking that barrier. Okay. So I, I don't get pedicures just I'm paranoid. <laughs> I just yeah. eat too much stuff. All right, that's it. That's just gonna fill in in the next couple weeks and we're good to go. Okay. All right. 
So you're going to be back in about three weeks just to do a simple wound check to make sure everything's healed. As you know, any issues in um, that time frame, call or text me. Okay. We're here. I don't think I've ever had anyone yawn so much during Sorry. a procedure. Most I just worked three twelves. Oh gosh. So this is like my day off. No, no, no. It You're... takes you a while to recover, but. Well, go home, watch the um, Netflix, call today. I was going to. Okay, thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you next time.